Welcome. Thank you as always for watching. Today we're going to continue talking about salvation. All right? To continue to lay the foundation of what it truly means to be saved. And because when we realize what it truly means to be saved, a lot of the fears of this world will pass away for us. You know, faith comes by hearing and hearing from the Word of God. We'll know the truth and the truth shall set us free. So that's why we're laying the foundation. And remember, salvation is for today. We don't have to wait for its benefits. Right now, this day, we are saved. And it's all grace. We've passed from judgment unto life. So we have life and we have it abundantly in Christ. This is salvation. <clears throat> Excuse me. Today I want to talk about the truth that salvation, what it really means, and why we have all of this wonderful stuff, is because you and I, we're one with Jesus. We're inseparable. Every bit as much as my hand is part of Brad, that's how we are with Jesus. The two are one flesh. We cannot be separated from Jesus at all. And I want to start in John 17, 22 through 24. Probably the greatest scriptures or chapter in the Bible to me. If anybody's ever asking why did Jesus do what he did, it's John 17. So we start in, it goes, Neither for these alone do I pray. This is verse 22. It is not for their sake only that I make this request, but also for all those who will ever come to believe in, to trust in, and to cling, and to rely on me through their word and their teaching, that they all may be one. Just as you, Father, are in me, and I am in you, that they also may be one in us, so that the world may believe and be convinced that you have sent me. All right? People, we are part of the Trinity. Isn't that wonderful? We are one with Jesus, who is one with God, so we're one with God because we're one with Jesus. That means they're in us. We're in them. We cannot be separated. It's a gift, remember? It's never going to be withdrawn. <clears throat> We're one with Jesus, as First John four seventeen, as He is, so are we in this world. It goes on and says, "I have given to them the glory and honor which You have given to me." Everything that makes Jesus glorious, and everything that makes Him honorable, we have it, and it's all a gift. It's all undeserved. Okay, would you get, that they may be one, even as we are one. I and them, you and me, in order that they may become one and perfectly united. That the world may know and definitely recognize that you sent me and that you have loved them. God loves us even as you've loved me. Father, I desire that they also whom you have entrusted to me as your gift to me may be with me where I am so that they may see my glory which you have given me, your love gift to me, for you loved me before the foundation of the world. You want the world to know <clears throat> that Jesus is Lord? You want to have a successful ministry? You want to be, you want to know how that's going to come? Because when we realize the truth that we are one with Jesus, right now so many of us think, oh yeah, one day we're going to get to go to heaven, but when we get there we're still going to be kind of separated, you know, God's going to be here on the throne, and we're going to be down here telling him how great he is all day. That's not the truth. The truth is we are seated in the throne with Jesus. The truth is we're one with him. Whereas there's no separation at all. And that's how the world will believe. The world will believe because they will see us living just like Jesus lives. Not as he lived, which would be glorious and great in of itself. We get to live as Jesus lives right now. We are as he is, even though we're still in this world. We're new creatures in Christ. Greater is he that is in us than he that's in the world. Ephesians 5, 30 through 32. We are members of his body, flesh of his flesh, and bone of his bone. This is a great mystery. And Paul says, I'm speaking of Christ and his church. Colossians 3, 3 tells us, man, we are dead, but yet our lives are hid in Christ and God. Galatians 2, 20. We're crucified with Christ and nevertheless we live. Yet it's not us who lives. It's Christ in us who lives. Salvation is now. Today you are one with Jesus. Today you are perfectly united with Jesus. Today you are as he is. Today you are delivered. Today you're rescued. Today you're safe. Today you're healthy. Today you can't lose any of this. This is the truth that sets us free. Amen. This is the truth that sets us free. 
Thanks for watching, and we cannot help but be blessed in this wonderful power we've been given called salvation.